Hello, chat. My name is Serafi, and I'm happy to meet you all. And today, we have a new Blue Eyes structure deck coming out. It's going to be so cool. The advent of the Eyes of Blue. And we have apparently eight new cards coming with this structure deck. And four of them have been revealed already. So let's take a look. These cards look really good. First up, we have Blue Eyes Ultimate Spirit Dragon. Uh, it's a level 12 light dragon synchro monster with uh, 3,500 attack points and 4,000 defense points. It requires two or more tuners plus one non-tuner Blue Eyes monster. So you need to make this with like Ash Blossom and one of the light tuner monsters or um, you need like at least because all of the light tuner monsters and blue eyes are level one, so you're not going to make it with like four level ones. But you can make this with Spirit Dragon. You can summon Spirit Dragon, then you can use Spirit Dragon's effect and tribute itself to summon the uh, Spirit Ultimate Dragon, because it doesn't have a restriction that says that it has to be Synchro Summon. Um, and Spirit Dragon can special summon any light dragon synchro monster from your extra deck, uh, regardless of its level. So this is probably what you're going to do. You're probably just going to summon it off of Spirit Dragon. You can only use the second and third effects of this card's name once each per turn. Number one, your opponent cannot banish cards from your graveyard. That's interesting. So, Bestials have been around for a long time. And Bestials see a lot of play uh, primarily because there are a lot of hand traps that are dark or light, and because there are a lot of uh, powerful cards, especially in Branded, that are dark or light. Um, especially, and, and now with the advent of Colossus, uh, people are going to be playing more uh, light monsters as well, so um, I do think that Blue Eyes in particular kind of gets bodied by Bestials being a powerful hand trap focus that's like so ubiquitous. Um, so the ability to just say that you can't get Bestialed is kind of interesting. I feel like this card comes down too late for that, though because you have to play Spirit Dragon first. So your opponent can like recognize what you're about to do, and they can just use the effect, but when you have the two... Well, no, hold on. No, actually that works, because you have the two monsters out. You have like your Light Tuner and your Blue Eyes. Your opponent doesn't have any targets yet. Then you Synchro off into the um, Spirit Dragon, your opponent can then declare the effect of one of their bestials, and then you declare your effect in as, as a chain, and then this card hits the field, and the bestial does not banish until resolution. Okay. Actually, actually, that's pretty cool. I like this. Uh, Blue Eyes getting, like, basically, like, an early uh, anti-bestial effect so that they can keep their graveyard intact. It's really nice. Number two. Uh, when a card or effect is activated on the field, as a quick effect, you can negate the activation, and if you do, this card gains a thousand attack points until the end of the turn. All right. <clears throat> so Blue Eyes gets a negate, finally. How long has Blue Eyes been in the game? And they get a negate at last? Okay. Give Dark Magician a negate now. <laughs> uh, this is really good. Uh, it doesn't destroy the card, but that's fine. Um, negating a card or effect on the field is pretty useful. It doesn't stop hand traps, but uh, there are a lot of hand traps that banish anyway, so you're kind of like you're gonna still get ashed, but that's about it. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one light dragon monster from your graveyard, except blue eye spirit ultimate dragon. Okay, so here's how this works. Turn one, you go first, you summon your spirit dragon, you tribute it, you special summon your spirit ultimate dragon. Spirit ultimate dragon will be destroyed during the end phase of the next turn. That's how, um, that's how Spirit Dragon works, I'm pretty sure. It's it's the end of the next turn, I'm pretty sure. Not the end of this turn. But I'll, I'll verify real quick. Let's see. Uh, no, it is the end of this turn. Okay. Ooh. Then in that case, you don't get the... Per uh, well... Hmm. Okay, so you have to do it in your opponent's That means that... When Spirit Dragon gets destroyed, when Ultimate Dragon gets destroyed by Spirit Dragon's effect, it does float, um, but you would bring back your Spirit Dragon, and then you couldn't use your Spirit Dragon immediately. 
It is during the end phase, though. So does your opponent really have a way to like destroy your Spirit Dragon during the, their end phase? Probably not. You still probably could get uh, the effect off again. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like this is a really good option. I feel like um, you probably would play two copies of Spirit Ultimate Dragon in your extra deck, and then you just you would use the same Spirit Dragon to basically go into Spirit Ultimate Dragon twice and try and kill your opponent. And that's great. Next up, we have um, Maiden of White. This is a light spellcaster tuner, level one. You can only use the first, second, and third effects of this card's name once each per turn. You can set this card from your hand or field to the graveyard to place one true light from your hand, deck, or graveyard face up in your spell and trap zone. Great. Uh, this gets around Ash because you're not adding it to your hand. And uh, getting true light just on the field, the face up, active, is really, really strong. <laughs> you can just immediately special summon your blue eyes then, which the second effect wants you to. If you special summon blue eyes white dragon while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. Okay. So you discard uh, Maiden of White, get your true light out. Special summon your blue eyes, Maiden White comes back, Synchro, now you have your Spirit Dragon. Great. So Maiden White is a two-card combo, as long as you have blue eyes. When a card or effect is activated that targets this card on the field, or when this card is targeted for an attack, as a quick effect, you can special summon one blue eyes, or one level one light tuner monster from your graveyard. Okay, so this is similar to um, the Maiden with Eyes of Blue, except that uh, it doesn't negate the attack. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, primarily you want to like primarily what this is for is your opponent's like effect failing you. I guess if you summon her first and then try and use her effect, but I don't know because you send for a cost. I don't know when your opponent would target this card, but I mean I guess it's fine. Whatever. That third effect's never probably gonna happen then. Next up, we have a spell card: Prayers with Eyes of Blue. Uh, you can only use the first and second card, second effects of this card's name once each per turn. Discard one card, add one level one light tuner monster, and one spell or trap that mentions blue eyes white dragon from your deck to your hand, except prayers with eyes of blue. Okay, so you get your uh, you get your main of white, and you get your saga of the blue eyed dragon, and you discard a card, which could be your blue eyes. So you can special summon it with true light. Sweet. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one blue eyes white dragon you control and equip one blue eyes monster from your extra deck to it as an equip spell that gives it 400 attack points. Now I thought about what could possibly this be useful for, um, and I can't think of anything. You don't really want like ultimate dragon in your graveyard. I mean, I guess you could use it for ultimate fusion, but that's not ideal. Um, I guess you could potentially use it to put Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon in your graveyard so that you can use it for the protection effect. But I'm guessing that probably this is in reference to another Blue Eyes card that we're getting in this deck that we don't know about yet. There's probably some decent Blue Eyes monster that can uh, that has some sort of effect either while it's an equip card or while it's in the graveyard that we just don't know about yet. Which is cool. You know, I want... Uh, we're getting like a fusion spell as well, so it would make sense for them to give us a new fusion monster. Although I don't know what they could possibly do, because we already have like uh, three alternatives fused together, and three blue eyes fused together twice, and two blue eyes fused together. So I'm not sure what the last card is going to be, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. Alright, Saga of the Blue Eyed Dragon. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn, and only once that turn. One, special summon one blue eyes monster from your deck, graveyard, or banishment in defense position. But you can only special summon blue eyes white dragon with this effect if you do not already control blue eyes white dragon. Also, you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except dragon monsters. That is Galaxy Expedition, but you can search it. Well, you can search Galaxy Expedition too, but that's what makes it so good. So it's a searchable Galaxy Expedition for blue eyes, um, that means that you're just going to get Jet Dragon, like always. You're just always going to use this to get Jet Dragon, and that's fantastic. Being able to special summon Jet Dragon from your deck is insane. So, uh, 10 out of 10. You can banish this card from your graveyard, fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material, including a blue eyes monster. Okay, so that's why I think that we're going to get a fusion monster, because it t it's talking about special summoning a fusion monster. Um, I don't know. That's cool. I'm not sure what we're going to get, but hopefully it'll be something interesting, something that's both good to fuse and something that's good to equip, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, reprints, we're going to get 
Three Blue Eyes, Alternative, uh, Jet, Abyss, Dragon Spirit of White, Chaos Max, Chaos, um, White Stone of Ancients, White Stone of Legends, Sage with Eyes of Blue, three copies, Dictator of D, Chaos Form, Ultimate Fusion, Melody, Mausoleum, Burst Dream, True Lights, The Ultimate Creature of Destruction, Destin Rivals, um, Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate, Blue Eyes Ultimate, Twin Burst, Tyrant, Spirit, and Azure Eyes. So <laughs> that is basically every Blue Eyes card. <laughs> Um, except for, um, uh, that's every Blue Eyes card except for the spell card that lets you special summon, um, Vision with Eyes of Blue. It's, it, yeah, it, there's no Rage with Eyes of Blue, there's no, the one that lets you mill to, like, um, make it so that monsters can't attack, there's no Dragon Shrine, and there's no, um, um, Vision that lets you special summon, um, Abyss. In fact, Abyss seems pretty bad in this deck. Uh, I'm not really sure. I guess you, the only way that you can summon Abyss is with Sage. Um, so, uh, well, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I apologize. You have the ability to special summon it with uh, uh, Saga. Okay. So it's going to be a ritual, um, a ritual synchro fusion deck all at once. Uh, I'm down for Chaos Max. I like Chaos Max as a card. Uh, Chaos Dragon is also really good. So this looks like it's going to be really fun. Um, sadly, there's, it's, they're not following the same pattern of like giving us a ton of hand traps and staples like they have been recently. So I guess this is literally just like pandering to the people who really like Blue Eyes. Um, the deck by itself is not going to be good at all, but uh, it gives you all the Blue Eyes cards, so you can just start building everything else. Uh, I like this. My name is Serafi, and I was thrilled to have all of you with me.